I'm Jane Schmidt, and I'm fortunate to be the principal of Highland Catholic School, even during a pandemic. I have to say we were pretty fast out of the gate last spring, and that's all credit to our uh, tech guru, Katie Atlas, who somehow uh, realized that this was all going to be unfolding so quickly and spent time training the teachers on Google Meet and how to run a distance classroom. So we really didn't have to use the governor's time to set up and get ready to go. We were ready to go. My name is Delvin Tashney. Uh, I am in eighth grade and I have been at High C for five years. When I was told that it was going to be back to in-person learning, I was a little bit concerned that it might be too soon. But when I learned how we were doing it, and, and I learned that there were going to be pods instead of classes, and masks mandated, and that the teachers would move around instead of the students, I felt a lot better. Man, my eighth grade year, it has been a blast. They put me in a pod with some of my closest closest friends, um, and it, it has been a lot of fun. Uh, much more than I thought it would be. I think socializing with my friends is something that helps me get through this year. It is, staying six feet apart, it is still fun to be around people that, you know, I really like being around. Daddy Hyder in kindergarten. When Dad drops me off, I go in, I go in from the school, go have tent checks and go get, and go, and, and wash my hands and go get ready. The masks aren't really a big deal. We still have fun. I like reading books in my in my class, especially when I read it to the fish. My name is Sarah Scoble. I teach fourth grade, and I counted it up. This is my 20th year at Highland Catholic, uh, but 28 years teaching all together. I was happy. Uh, really happy that I'd be able to see the kids again, but I was also super nervous and my head was spinning with questions, big questions, small questions. Uh, it, the whole thing seemed like an impossible puzzle to solve. Where are we going to put all these kids? How are we going to make the scheduling work? But somehow or another we pulled it together. We were uh, moving people around the library, music, performing arts, and Spanish teachers all gave up their space. We moved classes in there for third grade and fourth grade and seventh grade. We were measuring rooms, trying to figure out how many desks we can fit exactly where they can go. It made it a little bit challenging, but, but it's working and it seems more normal now. I think getting in in the morning is a lot of fun because I get to go back to school. It's, it's like another, it's another start, if you will. Um, and I get to see everybody again and I know that it's just gonna be another great day. The highlight for sure has been the kids and you learn to see their eyes smile. You can't see it from their masks, but their faces still light up and you can see it. And you hear them laugh and you know they're happy to be here. I love the teachers at Highland Catholic. Honestly, the staff are amazing. I have so much gratitude for my colleagues and the amount that they support me and they have my back. I've come to realize that I'm teaching with some of my best friends. It's all the credit to the teachers. I can't thank them enough. Um, we talk about this awesome community and being a strong community, and it was on the backs of those teachers. I can't thank them enough. We all should thank them. They are just a great force.